after a serious announcement by the governor, this is what the response to a state of emergency looks like at Lone Peak High School. Most people who are talking in the halls, they had their masks down to their chins or they had their masks completely off. Um, like just walking down the hallways, there were so many kids, more than I can even count. Senior Haven McGee, who says she took these pictures today, didn't see any change even after the school replayed Governor Herbert's announcement to all the students. I think a lot of it is a social thing. Like kids are scared to say, hey, put on your mask because it's not like cool. And everyone's like, oh, wow, what a stickler for the rules. She says teachers enforce mask wearing in the classrooms, but other than that. Kids aren't being asked to wear their masks when they're not wearing them. And they're gathering in groups of 20 to 30 people at lunch. She says Dad Bill noticed the governor's order doesn't address the school setting, which concerns him. Governor said that the problem, is, we've got the schools under control. The problem is extracurricular activity. And that's just simply not true. We don't have schools under control. Just, they're not under control. We asked the Alpine School District about kids congregating in school without masks. The principal realizes the students have been slacking off on wearing masks, the district said. That is why he played the governor's message to all their students in the school today. After the video, the teachers in the classrooms emphasized why wearing a mask is important to the students. They did this to help stress the importance of wearing masks outside of class. Bill and Haven feel this is not enough. I definitely think reinforcement of any kind would be helpful, like just administrators making even an announcement like you will get in trouble if you're not wearing your masks. For them, whatever needs to be done to get the message across. If we're going to have school, it needs to be safe. Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah.